How's everyone doing today? Hope you're having a great day. So today we are going to be making butter from our fresh Jersey milk that we've been milking, our cow. Um, I'm going to show you what I've been doing here. I've been just hand scooping the cream off into a separate jar here. And so you can see it sat overnight and it separated. This is the milk here and cream here, which is pretty awesome. So I've been doing the slow method, but Kristen's friend gave a really good idea here is to get a jar with a spigot on it. And what you do, you let it sit overnight and then when it separates, you drain off your milk and then you just left with your cream. So that's gonna be a lot easier way to do that. So what we'll do once we uh, get all the cream separated, we'll show you how to make butter and then maybe we'll do a quick video on how to do um, yogurt as well in the Instant Pot. Here we go, so here's the two gallon jar. We got our cream on top and our milk on the bottom. So I'm just gonna go separate that quickly. So we're gonna make some butter with that this evening. All right, so for the butter we're making tonight, we have two and a half liters of cream I separated earlier on. Here we're gonna use the mixture version instead of shaking it in a jar, because it's a lot easier, especially when you have this much. So Kristen's gonna pop the bowl in with the whisk. And we're multitasking, I am making ricotta cheese. So I need to keep stirring this, but we'll maybe switch off so we can show you the cream being whipped. But uh, she ended up it in there. It's really awesome having all this fresh goodies. So nice and thick too, this cream is unbelievable. You can do this with just whipping cream you get in the grocery store as well. Nice close up of the cream coming in. Yeah, one more to go here. And so, do you want to start on low speed first and then work your way up to a quicker speed? <laughs> yes. So we'll just let it sit here and mix for a few minutes and you guys can see it. Cream now slightly, trying to get whipped up a bit. How's it looking over there? Coming along nicely? Awesome. It's going to be really awesome to have fresh butter all the time. Fresh cheese. Okay, it's going nicely still. So we'll come back in a few minutes when it's getting close. It's starting to whip all over the place. Yes, two and a half liters is probably still a bit too much. So we decided to take some of it out because it was way too full and it wasn't whipping fast enough. So that's the second batch we'll do in a few minutes. But it's going nicely here, it's splattering everywhere. Once it starts forming some peaks and stuff, we'll come back and check it out. All right, so when we separated it, most of the fat was in there, so it wasn't really doing a whole lot. So we combined them both together, stirred them up, and got it going again. So it's starting to train with cream a bit here. 
Hopefully butter in the next uh, five minutes, I would think. Go. All right, here we go. It's starting to go yellowish. Which means it's getting close to becoming butter. And probably in a minute or so, it might just start splitting. And you'll get the whey, or sorry, the buttermilk and the butter. Kind of a bit more, so it really goes. Trying to pull away from the sides now, a good sign. All right, it's looking like it's butter time now. Whoa, just shut it off there. There we go, look at that. Butter. I missed the spot time where it separated, but we will pull this off quickly. You know, I'll get Kristen to do it because my hands are, you know, doing the video stuff. Look at that. So now we need a strainer, and we only have one, which we're using right now for. Ricotta we just whipped up quickly. So we'll let that drain for a few minutes and we'll drain the butter. But look at that, there's quite a bit in there. Just pull a piece out. So we have to press it a bit as well to get all the buttermilk out. Rinse it. Rinse it. Oh, rinse it, she says, rinse it. Okay, time to pour the butter into the strainer. Get the buttermilk, well, that was more than I expect, was expecting. Look at that all. There you go. Fresh farmhouse butter, straight from a Jersey cow. And there's the buttermilk. And that's magically delicious as well. So we'll let this strain off and then we'll give it a quick taste test. Actually, you know what? Let's just do it now. Because why not? Butter is good. We just need to add a little bit of salt. Be perfect. There you go, guys. Quick video on how to make butter with the KitchenAid. Um, I'm sure we'll probably do some more videos down the road. Well, probably a lot with all the milk we're getting and the things we'll be making with it. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel, give it a thumbs up, and thanks for watching. We'll see you out there.